In the past week, pilgrims have gathered in Rome and Canterbury for two momentous events, the inauguration mass of Pope Francis and the enthronement of the 105th Archbishop of Canterbury. These are challenging times for the church, and on this Palm Sunday, I talked to the new archbishop at the start of the most sacred week of the Christian calendar. And a thousand voices in Canterbury Cathedral sing their Palm Sunday songs of praise. There's music from the Cathedral Choristers and Lexi Stobie, and the Bible's accounts of key moments from Jesus last week are read by Amelia Fox. Nearly 2,000 years ago, pilgrims gathered in Jerusalem in preparation for the festival of Passover. As Jesus entered the city on a donkey, people praised him by waving palm leaves, as Mark's Gospel describes. They brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks on it, and he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, and others spread leafy branches that they had cut in the fields. Then those who went ahead and those who followed were shouting, Hosanna, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. When he rode into Jerusalem, the people acclaimed Jesus as a king. But five days later, he was put quite cruelly to death. Our first hymn unites what can seem sometimes contradictory themes of Palm Sunday, Jesus' majesty and meekness, and his suffering and glory. Thursday, there was acclamation for Archbishop Justin at his enthronement. So how does he feel to be taking on his new role? There is absolutely no way that I should take this on unless I was confident in the grace of God. In the end, I do what I can, but in the end, it's the grace of God or nothing happens at all. So that kind of eases the burden a bit. The days that led to Jesus' death are full of drama, such as when he overturned the tables of the money changers in the temple, an act which led to the religious leaders fearing him even more. He was teaching and saying, Is it not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all the nations, but you have made it a den of robbers. And when the chief priests and the scribes heard it, they kept looking for a way to kill him, for they were afraid of him, because the whole crowd was spellbound by his teaching. Crowds matter. The sense of people responding to who this person is is 
to Jesus as someone, they didn't know quite what they were responding to, but this was someone of huge importance, transformative importance. And we see at the same time the religious leaders, which is where I feel a bit antsy, frankly, uh, the religious leaders excluding them. You know, what can they know? Don't want them around. Where we've got this all buttoned up. Incredibly dangerous attitude. Uh, but already you've, you've, I think, sort of raised more eyebrows than many archbishops. Have I? Um, this role is an enormous privilege. It's an extraordinary privilege to find oneself in it. And the responsibility that goes with that privilege is to enable not just faith, but faith in Jesus Christ to be at the center of our conversation. And that will inevitably be controversial because Jesus was enormously controversial and remains so. During supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table and took off his outer robe and tied it around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet. After he had washed their feet, had put on his robe, and returned to the table, he said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you also should do as I have done to you. I always felt very uncomfortable having my feet washed. We always did it in different churches I've been with, allowing ourselves to be served as the disciples had to allow Jesus to serve them is a very uncomfortable feeling. We like transactions, not that gratuitous giving that Jesus shows. After their final meal, Jesus and his disciples went to the Garden of Gethsemane. Facing a cruel and painful death, Jesus prayed to his Father that the cup of suffering might be taken from him. They went to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. He said, Abba, 
Father, for you all things are possible. Remove this cup from me. Yet not what I want, but what you want. There will have been moments in your life when, on a, a personal level, prayer has been immensely sig significant. Mm, fairly frequently. <laughs> I think two moments that I suspect you may be thinking of. One is prayer around the time of critical illness with our daughter who died in a car crash and during the period after the car crash before she died, five days. Um, that was prayer at its rawest because it's the prayer of just, oh God, help. Oh God, where are you? What's going on? Are you going to do something, aren't you? And I suppose the deepest moment in that was finding a moment when, when we were just in a cafe, actually, outside the hospital uh, on the day Joanna died. And we were talking and uh, we praying and we had a sense in ourselves of needing to say to God, watch, your will be done. I mean, it's the Gethsemane prayer. If we must drink this cup, we didn't use those words, but that was the essence of it. And praying that, a sense of handing over, absolutely agonizing. And going back to the hospital and the professor of intensive care saying to us, she suddenly seems to be going. And, <coughs> excuse me. And um, that moment in which one felt, we didn't do it physically, obviously, the presence of Jesus in that room was so overwhelming. And there was a sense of handing her over. That was prayer at its most profound and getting exactly the answer we didn't want, most of all in all the world, and yet sensing that God was at the center of this.